Well, to say the least. All right, begin the mission and please this time load it. Grand Hey Pooba, welcome to the stream, man, and good evening. Oh, it's loading. It is loading, guys. Welcome to Operation Des Chalice. It has been a long time uh, since we were allowed to go for that VIP target. The mission took us three times to load, for whatever reason. But here we are. We're in the middle of the uh, mid-game. Got some nice little uh, armor upgrades. Got magnetic weapons. We researched most of the autopsies and we were pretty active in producing ammunition, special grenades and nice little tools for our warfare. So that worked out beautiful. Currently we are at squad size upgrade 3, so we do have 7 guys in our team. And we're mercilessly uh, working our way towards uh, the squad size upgrade 4 which is the final version. As you have already seen in this long, go long war um, uh, installment, a lot of the, yeah, a lot of the um, values in the INI files have been significantly changed. So leveling up all of the guys takes longer, much longer. And we also got some new classes for the newcomers that you can, uh, that you can take a look at. We overall play with seven classes. So, um, out of coincidence, having a squad of, uh, of a squad size of seven is perfect because you can see all of the classes at least once. So the good news is it has loaded. The quote unquote bad news is it save after doing the loadout yeah there is no safe mate because we're playing iron man and it's either automatically saving or it's not and usually it's not saving on the globe good i was about to say good news it has finally loaded bad news the whole uh the whole performance has slowed down noticeably I think it's the rain. No, 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 oh no. That was so unnecessary. Can't even say how unnecessary that was. Luckily for us, we haven't triggered anything. But jumping through two windows is definitely a, uh, a playing mistake. We shouldn't, that shouldn't have happened. Lucky for us, we do have a scout and, um, and a ranger in our team. Both have the option to stay concealed. So their, uh, their ranger, uh, their phantom ability gives them additional protection. The reason why I'm so unhappy about revealing ourselves at the beginning is the moment when we're revealing ourselves, the timer starts to tick and we're now having effectively only nine more rounds instead of moving to the target smooth and carefully, where this is now going to be pretty much a rushing uh, a mission, which is, uh, which is requiring us to rush. So that was a big blunder. And as as nice as um, as nice as the true concealment mod is, if you um, consider that you have two turns, two less turns on average, because the game expects you to very rapidly um, advance anyway, so you're on average uh, for for the advantage of staying in concealment on average, you're having two turns less, and that now really is negative. Is 
So, for those of you who haven't seen it, this here is not an Andromedon. I have forgotten the name of the alien that I installed. It is a shotgun using um, Andromedon version, which has, uh, which has new abilities, so I've never fought it so far, but it received great ratings. And yeah, let's see if it's uh if it's going to be as dangerous as uh, the mod producer promises let's reconceal also mercilla here she was the one initially completely fucking it up by jumping through a window Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, let's let's put it this way. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have a shortage on enemies here. So maybe, but just maybe, we're just going to fuck up everyone here. And after we did that, we're just going to get out. That would be my humble plan so far fortunately we can't get to the other side question is is this going to trigger anything already no it's not this triggering yes it is no no okay so we're talking about this here as a vision line I'm thinking about, although it's not high ground to just go down here, take two shots. This here is not the best position and moving afterwards is also not really um, the best way to deal with it. Here, that could be another option. But probably this here is the best option. This plus stabilize, uh, steady weapon. And we should be able to deal with them. Our gunner definitely needs to deal enough damage. That's a given. Belder does have face off, so I am kind of expecting him to go here. Hopefully not triggering anything. Yeah, that hope unfortunately didn't come true. So we pretty solidly triggered something. Good job, Belder. Good fucking job. Two packs. That is not good. We need to invest the rest of our turn into defense. Otherwise, we're gonna, gonna be in, in deep, deep shit here. Alright, the good news about it is that these three guys here are currently concealed, so they're not, not seen officially. Good. Next good news is Eric Obama is too far behind uh, so no one will notice him anyways which means we're, we can just aid protocol nice little threat assessment to at least get get off one shot and let's see if we can hack the tower wow such a shitty position really 50-50 we can definitely need some help here. Come on. Yeah, good job. Good job. We're in. 
Oh, you're telling me that we just triggered another pack for no reason? Oh my god. What? That sucks so much. Let's hope they're just focusing on the tower. <laughs> our, our advantage is that most of the guys are still concealed. As soon as that changes, we're going to have an issue. I don't know what this uh, new enemy type based on the Andromedon is currently doing. I would. I are you shitting me? Another pack. Oh, it seems they are going for the ladder and they want to get on top of the roof, which per se makes sense. Yeah, it, it makes sense, but... Wow. N not the smartest behavior ever. I mean, they are clustering up like fuck, so we're definitely going to grenade them next turn. Oh, hello there. Lance has got a lance. Incoming over here. Shit. We now are going to be discovered. So many extra hit points. Damn. Yep, Gumblark will now have a bad time. And the other two are being detected. Well, hello there. Thanks to the stun lances, everyone's now de being detected. Shit. That's not good looking good, guys. I was wondering why they are effectively ignoring the tower. That sucks a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, situation analysis. We got... Six guys over here. All of which do have a grenade. So... That's not going to be fun. We have two stun lancers right in our face. We're injured. We have eight more turns left. And we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys up here. Yeah, we have been in better situations. I'm not going to lie. We certainly have been in better situations. Let us try to kill the the shield baron. Well, or differently, option number two. We could go for the guys down here. If we're moving over here, we're out of range of most of them. And we can take a good number of shots onto the guys down there. I think that's more worthwhile.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we're going here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if we're going to go here, it's six down there. Problem here is we have a lot of extra hit points. And if we can remove this guy out of the fight, we're going to chew through all of the hit points. But that requires us to really remove that guy. No, chances are not good enough. Chances are not good enough to remove that guy. Um, Gumblark needs healing. And we definitely need to start killing these guys here. Lightning hands to kill that gentleman. Good. So question now is, are we going to go down there or are we not going to go down there? And they are being absolutely clustered. So... Nice little grenade plus something else will probably kill them or at least injure them pretty, pretty hard. The frag grenade doesn't deal enough damage, but the poison should deal a considerable amount of damage to them. So Berensky is in a safe position himself. Shredded all of the armor, which is good. And if we now move Belder like here, his face off should have a significant impact. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. We probably will need a second uh, smoke grenade up here. Somewhere along these lines. Can't see how, how else we're going to survive that. And we need to get Gumblark out of the out of the danger zone here. Clustering up effectively means that someone is going to die. So probably we're we're going to put him here, just kill the stun lancer, or alternatively Is he gonna have vision up here? Yeah. So let's move him up here. If we move him up here, he has full cover into this direction. These guys cannot see him. And he can still see this dude down here. Plus, we can drop down on the other side next turn with Gumblork. And take a couple of good shots there. Good. So, stun lancer is done. We can discuss about 
repositioning him in a second. Shredder Rocket. It's definitely an option. Considering the vest um, armor potential that all of these guys do have. That's one option. The other option is to straight up try to obliterate this guy here. The third option is to kill the guys down there. And I'm I, f I feel like that's the best option so far. And hear me out one second. If we move over here, it is dangerous in terms of receiving a grenade. Taken. You're right, it is. That guy here might have a grenade, but other than that, the others are not close enough to throw a grenade. We could go to here. Could go to here, which is still far enough away. And we could effectively just drop the super hardcore rocket into them. It has not a large radius, but it will deal a lot of damage. So now look at that. Boom. Boom. Here we go. Marcella. Yeah, what the fuck? She just killed all of them. Of course, with the exception of that one violet dude who's now starting to leak, whatever that means. Oh no, I can't throw another grenade afterwards. Wow, that's really un unfortunate. Let's offer, let's offer him as a potential target here. I wanted to get rid of the mech because the mech uh, has rockets and rockets are relatively large uh, in terms of their um, explosion radius. Good, so that's it. That was one turn. Let's see what the enemies got on us. So far that violet enemy wasn't uh, excitingly difficult. He clustered the mutants around him and then kind of um, let them all into a single rocket. Well, eight points of uh, damage is pretty good. Not going to lie. Panic, hunger down. Yes, good job. Marcella, don't die on us now. Don't die on us. You just... For the first time in your life, you did something uh, in the life of a, of a, of a rocketeer. You did something extraordinary good. So don't pay with your life now. By the way, is the stream lagging a little bit? I need to reload it. Um, just want to make sure it's not lagging for you guys.
All right, so back um, with the stream. If uh, if you have any latency on the stream, let me know. It's pretty late overall. Like normally, it's shorter. Yeah, keep fight, uh, keep shooting at the tower, brothers. Eventually, you'll get it. Nope, not today. Oh shit, we're definitely taking some damage now from the right hand side and we need to start counter healing that. And we also need to start moving soon. Well, this is so fucked up. We're still trapped in a giant battle, it seems. So we do have a couple of guys down there. He's in a really bad position, to be honest. Let us find a better, better spot for him. And I wish also that our Gumblark here could effectively position himself a little bit better so we can uh, start shooting someone from a flank position. Let's just use the last round of uh, of our smoke here, and let's make sure that we get as many of uh, these gentlemen here as possible. The smoke grenade will also uh, the smoke grenade will also um, shred a little bit. Yeah, I think. Um, in terms of lagging, I think it's it's a problem of Twitch overall at the moment. I can see that the streams are are multiple streams are having problems, and I uh, double checked uh, OBS. We are currently at zero frame. At zero frames dropped.
Good, let's start to go for the Advent Shield Bearer here. Gumblark is helping out on this side. Good, so stun lance are down. Or we can maybe move up again. Tower is not going to be our problem. We can try to get the shield bearer. The stun lance would also be an option. Problem with this guy here is um, he still has so much armor that I don't know if we're going to go through it. I'm on it. Commander G is moving down and has the clear objective to kill that advanced stun lancer, uh, that advanced shield bearer here. Down to 6 HP. only got one shot and afterwards we're just going to smoke uh, smoke grenade here I got the one shot unfortunately also on top of that misses so yeah time for a smoke grenade six more turns damn this is going to be very very close The shield bearers effectively prevent the others from taking poison damage, which is really bad. Not sure how many guys are still over there. I think four. If they kill the tower this time, we should be fine. I can't move. Yeah, come on, shoot the tower, man. The tower is better chance to hit. Why are you shooting at someone who's in in smoke? That doesn't make any sense. Come on, shoot the tower, man. And kill it. Almost. Hey, greetings, young Skywalker. Welcome to the stream, man. 
Um, the run is uh, moving. Uh, the run is going pretty, pretty good. Uh, but Twitch seems to have an issue today. It's lagging overall quite bad, but that's really an issue of Twitch at the moment. Can't fix that, although I wish I could. Oh, nice hit, by the way. Six more turns. First of all, let's double check how far is the extraction zone, because that's the first thing we always need to check. We're talking about one, two, three, four. Which means, ready or not, we definitely will need to start getting the fuck out of here. Elsewise, this is going to be a problem. All right, here we go. Last turn before we definitely need to take a move. So that'll take care about the shields. Are the shields finally gone? No, they aren't. Fuck you. It's depressing. So many enemies, and I think we're not going to kill all of them. We can move her up to here. That technically would be flanking, right? Right. I'm just considering the options that we do have now. Ninety percent. It's gonna kill this guy here for sure. Good, so that's one down, and we need to heal her anyways. So our healer needs to move. Basically as far as he can. Barack Obama moving up. And healing Marcella up here as the second action. We still have too many enemies, but we need to motor now because we're running out of time. The mission started with a big blunder of us triggering, um, of us st starting the timer without any need to do so. And it just continues as bad as that. Bestätigt. 
I mean, I don't know if we do have enough firepower to get through that. I don't want to be caught, to be honest. So let's try to to get rid of as many of them as possible. So we could move ourselves here. Which is a position that can be only flanked from one side. Up here. That's fine. And we should be able to deal a very decent amount of damage. Also, Commander G has... Has shields. Uh, armor, rather. So it should be fine. Let's force ourselves to move up. It's not a terrible position here, but certainly not the best position either. 100%. And is going to kill him. Good job. Good job, Berensky. <sighs> so, heck effect lost. Which means the tower is back. At least we're in full cover and have smoke, so it's very unlikely that they're going to hit Belda there. We definitely need to motor from next round onwards. We are still we're simply running out of time. And Chet just mentioned uh, the interaction between poison and the shield uh, and and the shields. I do agree. Uh, poison should either ignore shields completely, which would be honestly my preferred scenario, if you ask me for my humble opinion, or secondly. Um, giving a significant debuff, which is also fine, but on a, I would prefer if it's just ignoring it. Now we do have a problem. Wow, lucky us. I'm not sure if we can heal up enough because we don't have the time. The fight would is definitely winnable, but it's it's now becoming more and more a matter of whether or not um, we have enough time left. The stun lance has just waited for that opportunity here. Wow, they're even poisoning themselves just to go there. Unbelievable. Six turns. Shit.
Okay, let's use our mobility here. Where is the extraction zone? Super far down there. We definitely can't ignore the um, stun lancers because they're just gonna tear through us elsewise. And they do have a huge movement range, so yeah, ignoring is not a not an option. It simply isn't. This here is not a bad spot, to be honest, because the stun lances will not reach us there. So, one overwatch being triggered, that's fine. Hmm, killing that stun lancer is probably better than going for the tower. The tower itself doesn't have too much, uh, doesn't have too much accuracy and it can be easily killed. Just telling me he survived that shit. Ah, okay, he's down to 1 HP and he's gonna die from poison. That's fine. On your order. Good, I think we have now eliminated most of these assholes. Let's kill the tower. It's 100% kill. <sighs> so super close. I don't think we can get out all of our guys. I don't know how we're going to get out of this yet, guys. Four more turns, and I think we're we need to start running. We've nearly killed all of them. There are three more on this side. I simply had no more time to finish them. Like, 
Overwatch is not the problem. This dude here is rather harmless. He's just dealing normal damage. He's, he just has a lot of hit points. That's that's it. But he's still debuffed. Yeah, and then there's this pussy. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Marcella with... Um, the problem with Marcella is now she's... Um, she's gonna be probably too slow to, to, finish, uh, to finish running to the target. Having her with a panic attack now, it's really the worst moment to have a panic attack right now. Four more turns. We're talking about one, two, three to move there. So it's not going to be easy. Let's at least finish the mission, which means Hello there, Mr. VIP. Is he fucking poisoned? I hope he is. One, two, three. So, reloading and shooting at that guy will mean that Berensky can still make it out. It's important though that the stun monster dies because he'll be a pain in the neck elsewise. Where's that fucking douchebag who shot at Marcella? I thought he was on the rooftop. Barack Obama goes for a run here. to use whatever it takes which in this case means move here get a crit nice one he's down to two that's not enough to kill him though but next turn we can kill the VIP with um, our sniper here. Good. I think Marcella will be left behind. I have no plan how to get her out. Unless she's stabilizing now, but I think she isn't. This guy is going to die next turn on his own. He now needs to reload. Perfect. 
Reload means also this guy is going to be delayed. And now it's really just every man for himself. Oh, Marcella's back. Maybe we get her out. Maybe we get her out. All right. Because fuck you, VIP. Status confirmed. Target eliminated. Location confirmed. Don't tell me there's another pick. Okay, that's bad. Close enough. No, that Edwin is going to die anyways. A protocol for Builder here because he needs to tank like a boss. He even gets threat assessment. I wouldn't be too surprised if the AI is now taking a lot of overwatches, but honestly, I, I wouldn't care. Like, not that much. <laughs> it's okay, they can overwatch as much as they like. Just don't panic anyone. Okay, slowly but surely. No, no, no. Oh my god. <gasps> Why did you panic? Yeah, AI is normally programmed to Overwatch, but stun lances are programmed to stun lance. And there's yet another reinforcement. Wonderful. Okay, so let's have a very smart decision here, hopefully. Question from the chat, does the Long War mod uh, work on previous uh, save game files? It actually doesn't. So, old save game files usually cannot be modified. Alright, we're pretty close. Let's try to 
kill as many of them as possible, yet keep on moving. We're going to cluster up here and then just smoke grenade and hope for the best. I don't have a better plan than that. The disadvantage with the plan is that we're going to be fragile against grenades. But the only one who really has grenades is uh, the... is the mutant here. So let's make sure that they are not being able to use the grenades. Yeah, this here should hit both of them. Even if Barack Obama is standing fully in the open, the enemies are stun lances anyway, so... It's not like it's, um, it's mattering much whether or not they're in melee or in ranged combat. Good. Let's hope that no one else panics and next turn we're hopefully just running out of here. If I have mods with increased squad size, does it conflict with Long War? Um, well, Long War is not a, a specific one-off mod, um, not yet. A lot of people working on, on something that is improving the game, obviously. Um, but uh, the combination of mods that uh, we're using here uh, will not conflict with squad size upgrades. So that should be fine. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. I'm under fire. Yeah. Missed, bitch. There's heavy fire in this zone. Okay, come on. Yeah, panic remove. Great. Wonderful. Good. Number one, we're moving our Commander G out here. Commander G does have lightning reflexes, so he's going to trigger all of the overwatch shots. Good. Next up. Let's get like everyone out here. Mercella overcame her panic and even made it out. Perfect. I think this will be a success. I think we not even lost someone, but everyone was like super, super, super injured. It, 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Five out of seven guys wounded. And I'm not going to lie, guys, in the middle of the mission it looked damn close. I wasn't I at at a there were moments when I wasn't sure if we make it out with everyone. <laughs> yeah, so much for being too easy. And yeah, it all started with a second click in the whole mission. Marcella jumping through a fucking window and breaking and breaking concealment, hence starting the timer in the very, very, very first round. Wow. Wow. Like everyone made it. Even though we killed only 25 out of 37, I think that was reasonable, but decent, maybe. Um, yeah, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. No shit. That was a hard mission. Cool. Look at that. Um, Marcella now got Salvo launching or throwing grenades or using your rocket launcher. First action will not end your turn, which is extremely good. So she's getting better and better and better. Would be a shame to see that character die. Hello, Commander. 200 supplies. And we even got a second promotion, guys. Baranski. Who, by the way, also got gravely injured. Finally got his promotion. And I think we need someone in the AWC now again. Because as far as I'm concerned, we do have a big, big sick bay. Commander G goes into the room that he knows best, the sick bay. He's nearly home there. And has Commander G? Yeah, of course, he's wounded. There is no time when Commander G is not wounded. Yeah, the main team completely gravely wounded or wounded. Everyone else like fatigued up here. So we're basically left with corporals and squaddies. Let me check the timing. It is getting a little bit later, uh, late and I would say overall that was a good last mission for today. I... We'll be online tomorrow evening, so we're continuing the campaign, exactly where we stand. We have, um, I think, a very, very strong position here. And I would enjoy if you guys would join me tomorrow evening. If you've liked what you've seen, click the follow button and or tell one of your friends uh, that uh, Saiken does have a nice stream and that we do have a good time here. That would be very much appreciated. Thanks so much, guys. Have a nice evening. See you all tomorrow if you so desire.